Hello, and welcome back to Russ Plays Games. This is Russ, and today I'm continuing my Let's Play of Chrono Trigger. And, um, so I have, uh, gone ahead. I will go ahead and show you what I've done so far. Um, as you can see, um, I've gained a few levels. I think I was, like, like level 18, 17 or 18 when we left. Um... So as you can see, Chrono's level 21. Um, I went ahead and got um, a Chrono, a Flint Edge, um, and then I got, of course, the Master Immune for Frog. Um, I got him a Rock Helm and a Ruby Vest, um, and I got Luca a Ruby Gun, um, which is better than her Plasma Gun. Um, and then I went ahead and got her a uh, Rock Helm and a Ruby Vest. Um, and then to kind of show you here, um, I, here's the second level, Lightning Spell, um, and then I learned Life. Um, I still have about 22 skill points here. Um, and then for Luca, she's already learned Fire 2. As you can see, she's got 293 to learn Mega Bomb. She's actually only one, she's actually only two techs once she learns this one. She needs one more tech, and she will have every single tech that she needs, um, or that she will have every single single tech that she needs. Um... Yeah, and so Frog here, he's got three, including Water, and then Chrono, he's got two, including Confuse. And as you can see, it's like 743. Um, but as you can see, it, it doesn't take very long, actually, today. Um, it took me only about, gosh, probably about an hour, hour and a half, um, to go through and get all of these. So here we are in the end of time. Um, so we are going to come back over here. Um... And we're going to go to Truce Canyon because today we are going to go to Magus' castle and try to stop him from getting on um, the thing. So last time when I left you off, um, we were, um, we had gone and repaired the Masamune. We had gotten Frog back in our party. Um, and, and then I told you that I was going to grind. So that one was kind of a shorter episode. I know it's still about 25 minutes long, but, um... I just wanted to make sure that um, that we were doing everything. Um, as you can see, um, Frog's critical hit rate with the Mass Immune is insane. Um, I know I've been saying it differently. I know um, some people would say it's Mass Immune, and other people would say it's Mass Immune. So if I pronounce it a little bit differently, then uh, I don't care. Um, honestly, at this point, it's like I really don't care. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do here is... Um, let me see here. I'm gonna buy six revives. Uh, I'll buy a couple of shelters. Um, I think I'm probably gonna go down here to Denadorino, uh, or not Denadorino, but to um, the shop, the market down here. Um, so I need some more mid tonics. I'm just gonna go ahead and top up the mid tonics there. That should be enough for now. Alright. So. Alright. Say goodbye to 600 AD because after we go to Magus' castle, we probably will not be seeing it for a while. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go into the magic cave. So now we actually get to tackle the magic cave. <clears throat> um, so I'll go ahead and show off the second level magic spells here. Um, so that's the uh, the second level um, lightning spell, and then I'll show off the second level fire spell in the next battle. Um, we'll be facing a lot of battles as we go through here. Um, it's quite easy. Notice there is a. Um, a little uh, thing here, um, a little box that we can't open yet. And notice that there's a little bat following us. Um, that will become a little bit important um, a little bit later on in the story um, because uh, it, it doesn't really matter right now. Um, honestly, it's like, you know, nobody cares. <laughs> Um, so, let 
those guys were running on ahead. We can avoid them. <laughs> it's pretty simple. A note written in blood. The juggler in Magus's castle strengthens his guard when attacked. Beware. Okay, so the monster that he's referring to there, the juggler, um, when we get into a battle with one of them, I will kind of explain what he does. There's a reason why he's called the juggler. Alrighty, so that's the magic cave. And this is Magus's lair. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I can actually walk. Nope, I can't. So I can't show you the whole palace, but it's actually kind of cool looking from the outside. Um, so we're going to save. And here we go. Time to tackle one of the most difficult challenges in the game so far. This can only be. Magus's castle. I always loved that because it's like it just pans all the way up and kind of shows you like what the challenge is going to be. Um, it is pretty damn awesome. Now, what you you can't go anywhere else, so you have to actually go up to the door and then just walk in. Um, so what we're gonna do is um, our treasure. Play. <laughs> well, if it isn't Luca. Frog, you're safe. Chrono, so this is where you've been since the festival. You had me worried sick. Now, it doesn't matter who you have. Um, in fact, I've, I've been in this castle with Marl and with Robo, um, so it doesn't matter who you have. Um, this one is always going to be Chrono, this one is always going to be Queen Lean, and this is the only one that's going to change, this one right here, um, this guy, um, is the only one that's going to change. Um, if you don't have Luca, if you have Marl, it'll be the Queen, it'll be the King, um, sorry, the King, Guardia, um, if you're, if you have Robo, it will be Luca. Um, <laughs> Mid ether. Wanna play? <clears throat> yeah, these people are just kind of creepy. All right, so there is a little sword up on the wall there. Um, we'll be getting that sword here in a minute, or we'll be seeing who it belongs to in a few minutes. Welcome, Glenn. Or should I say, Sir Froggy. <laughs> say, looks like you got some replacements for Cyrus. Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to take up your business with me. The Swordsman Slash and Flee the Magician. And... You'll have to defeat all 100 of the beasts in Magus's castle. All right, Ozzy. A little bit dramatic. This is why I have Luca. <laughs> Frog learns water too, and learning the first triple tech, Delta Storm. Now this is actually one of the best um, triple techs in the game, in my humble opinion, is Delta Storm. And so basically, everybody's using their second level magic attack, and I'll show it off in a battle. Um, I'll actually show it off in one of the boss battles. Um, 
because it is flippin' awesome. Dance, dance, for tonight our leader is to be born. Ah, oh, here comes the sacrifice. Omnicrone and Decadence. I'll show off water too, um, if, if they survive, that is. Um, well, I'll just show off water too. Um, we have to do a physical attack on this guy. Um, but this is basically what the second level water spell does. Um, it just casts a water shadow over the whole, um, over the whole thing, and then little bubbles come up, and that's what damages the uh, the people. Um, it's not as powerful as some of the other um, second level magic attacks um, that some of the other people get in the game, but um, it's actually it, it's okay. So, please put a stop to this. Please let me go. Oh. Put me out of my misery. Only a moron would try to kill something that's already dead. Humans! Here, I'll show you the water too. Um, and then I'll spin cut that guy. So yeah, it didn't take me that long to actually go through and um, get most of the um, and get most of the uh, um, second level things. It took a while. Um, but I, I just got to the point where I was like, you know what, I'm sick and tired of grinding. I want to get on with the Let's Play. Please help. Relieve, of a, relieve us of this misery. This will be easy. We're just going to lightning to them. <clears throat> 60 experience points, 5 tech points. Alright. Hmm. How did you get past my cadaver pals? It's been ages, Sir Slush. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mid ether, regular ether, regular ether. All right. That slash, you slimy dolt, still playing comedian, eh, Glenn? You'd be singing a different tune if Cyrus hadn't been there with you last time. You'd have to fit right in with those bony fellows you just busted up. So now we find him. We find him actually in two rounds. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate the Delta Storm elemental attack. Um, so this is what it does. So it calls up. That's lightning. That's water. That's fire. So there you go. Attack, attack, attack. That's his first attack. That does a moderate amount of damage. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Oh, and I also picked up this attack called Spire. I'll show it off here real quick. Um, Chrono calls out some lightning. And Frog just sticks his sword into the person like a lightning rod. And then it does damage. Um... So basically, we're going to fight him in two parts here. Um, so the first part here, we just attack. And attack, and attack, and attack. Um, it's easy just to do just regular old attacks. Um, you can use the fire sword attack if you wish. Um, it does do some damage to him. Attack, attack, attack. I'll show off the red pin. Um, this is sort of uh, basically Frog and Luca's version of the uh, 
flame sword. Um, but yeah, just keep attacking this guy. Um, he's not too hard. Um, I mean, heck, I could probably even just beat him just doing uh, normal stuff. Um, his second form's a little bit harder. Um, just because he'll actually have his sword and he'll be able to actually do a lot more damage to you then. Um, so you want to be careful of that. But this first one, it's not too hard. He's got his little um, fire slash technique. Um, he's got the attack, attack, attack. Um, now what's interesting is, um, if you feel like you're kind of getting low, um, the heal spell here um, is actually a heal all spell. So it actually um, heals every single character for some HP. And it's kind of depends, level dependent. So depending on where you're at in terms of leveling um, will be the strength of that spell. <sighs> okay, that's his fire attack, which is why I have it's his last desperation attack. Now, let's get to business. This is going to do me a world of good. And with no Cyrus to protect you, you're mine. You dare to oppose me? All right. Uh, Delta Storm him again. And then I'll need to um, give an ether to Luca. Actually, I'll probably need to ether all of my characters at this point. Um, just because they're kind of getting low on HP. Or MP. We're kind of doing okay on MP. Now that's basically Chrono's slash attack. Um, yes, he does it, um, and it's kind of um, it's kind of hard to uh, defend against it. Um, he is definitely, um, and he definitely likes to use it a lot during this battle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and heal, and then I'm going to use Fire Sword um, to uh, to attack him again, um, just because it deals a fair bit of damage to him. Um, so now that was a nice one because he actually attacked Luca and not. Oh, now he attacks. Um, now the Sword Stream attack. Um, it's basically just, I, I think I might have showed this off in the previous video, but I'll show it off again. It's basically Water Sword. <laughs> um, and it doesn't do much. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to napalm him. I'm just going to use some individual uh, tech attacks just because it'll be a lot easier that way. Um, uh, And probably, I think what I'm probably going to end up doing here um, is I'm going to kind of explain Magus um, before I get to him. Um, because it'll be a little easier to do it that way. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, just because Magus... He's a hard boss. Um, it's it's going to be difficult to um, explain exactly um, all of his attacks in the limited amount of time that it takes to actually fight him because I kind of need to concentrate. He's a very difficult boss. Um, but you'll know that you've taken off most of his hit points when he says when he goes Magus risks casting a spell um that means you've almost got him and just wail on his ass um he is tough um he has 6,666 hit points um so his attacks mainly consist of barrier changing and this is one of the reasons why I have Chrono Frog and Luka um, and I'll explain that here in one second. Um, that's another attack that, that Slash likes to do. 
Um, and it takes off actually a fair bit of, uh, of damage. Um, so let me... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and heal. Um, and have him spin cut, and she is going to throw a mid-ether on herself. Um, so, basically... Um, Magus will barrier change a lot. Um, and what he does is it's, his barrier that he has is the barrier um, that you actually have to um, you actually have to damage him with that particular magic spell. So, for instance, if he says barrier against lightning, you have to attack him with a lightning spell. It's kind of counterintuitive. You'd think that if it was lightning, you'd have to attack him with, say, water or, an, uh, you know, fire or something like that. Um, because, you know, it, it wouldn't... How would that work? You know, like, how would he... Um, you know, like, like, how would that work against him? Well, apparently what it is is that when he barrier changes, that's what can kill him. Um, and that's how they decided to do it. I don't know why, but that's what they did. Um, so they, they literally made it so that he was supposed to be like, you know, a, a, a hard boss. And, um, you know, and, and he is. He's a legitimately hard boss. Um, and so you really have to kind of um, look at him as such. Um, okay, so this is one of his kind of almost desperation attacks. Um, that, that he does, um, that Slash does, um, when he starts getting low on HP, um, he'll start doing this, yes indeed, and then he will hit you a bunch of times for a lot of damage. Um, as you can see, <laughs> it does do a lot of damage. Um, so, again, just like with most of the bosses in Chrono Trigger, keep your HP very, very high. Um, so this is kind of his counter-attacking stage. Um, he's literally at this point kind of, you know, trying to, uh, trying to legitimately kill us. Um, alright. So. Because he sensed that he's getting low. So there you go. That killed him. <laughs> Unbelievable, but falling in the line of duty for Magus leaves me with few regrets. Okay. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to come here first. Um, you get a slasher, which is actually a sword for Chrono, and it ups your speed by two. Now, the other nice thing about this is that it also... And, and it gives him plus one to his attack. Um, but it also, it just, it just kind of helps that you also get a nice little, um, uh, save point where you can save after the battle and, um, and then you can continue on. So, of course, this checkpoint is called Magus's Castle. Now, if you want to continue fighting, um, all of these little beasts and everything, you can... I usually just ignore them and just run through. I'm just kind of showing it off, just to kind of show off what Magus' castle is. Do you want our treasure? Yes. In that case, will you play with us, please, pretty please? Oh, this is going to be an easy battle. Um, so we come down here, slash... <laughs> And just like that, <laughs> we've seen this enemy before. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> and for our troubles, we get a barrier. Um, barriers are... Um, so barriers, it cuts magic hits by one-third. So I might throw it um, on one of my characters in this next battle, but I doubt it. Um... Now, I guess I'll just go ahead and show this off. This is going to be kind of a longer episode, just because I kind of wanted to show off Magus's castle here. 
You are still alive, my dear. Okay, so basically what you want to do is... Um, I'll show you as soon as these idiots stop doing this. Um, come on. Basically, that little sorcerer guy there, the blue guy in the center, he's brand new. Um, oh, it did kill him. Oh, never mind. I thought that was... Okay, must be a different one than I'm thinking of. Um, there might be one later on in the game where it does it. Um, I thought he absorbed magic. Um, but what's nice is that you get mid ethers for defeating these guys. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and defeat these guys just to kind of... Frog, you're safe. Guess we'd better do something about that. Okay. So then, again, just... Um... Whoops! Wrong one! <laughs> um, I meant to do lightning too, which is why I wondered why it wasn't flashing over the whole screen. That was a fail. There are some enemies in the game later on that when you try to fight them certain ways, they will, um, it will basically kill you <laughs> in one hit. Chrono, so this is where you've been since the festival. You had me worried sick. Children this naughty deserve to be punished. Um, let me see here. Lightning tube. Now you can see that one, it actually did heal him. Um... And so in that case, you just jump up, just do like a leap slash attack with him, and it kills him. So, um, but I didn't realize that Lucas killed everybody. So that's actually pretty nice. But again, you get mid ethers um, for that. So a lot of the mid ethers that I used in the last battle, that actually has gone away. Now, this enemy that we're going to fight, I'm going to actually talk about this, is probably going to ruin a little bit of the story, and I'm sorry for that. Um, but... The Magician Flea, I presume? Okay, this is not Flea. This is a juggler! Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leap slash him. Okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, so that actually killed him. So basically what happens is, is that if if his magic or if his physical defense had been turned on, um, I'm going to talk about this for just one second here. So if, if the juggler's physical defense had been turned on, it would have done like a low amount of damage and the magic attacks would have actually harmed him more, which we would have then attacked with magic and then it... And the reason why they call it Juggler is because he flips back and forth between magic defense and physical defense. But if you kill him before he has a chance to flip back and forth between the two, then he basically, he just does the MP Buster, which steals your HP, uh, or your MP. And remember that little bat that was flying us around? Giving up little tadpole? Hey, who are you? Keep your guard up. This is no ordinary woman. Meet Flea, the magician. What the? Hey, I'm a guy! Say what? That's a guy? Male, female, what's the difference? Power is beautiful, and I've got the power. Poor little Froggy, you must be lonely now that Cyrus is gone. And to be turned to something so hideous, dreadful. But since you've brought your new friends over to play... I'll show you all a good time. This is one of the harder boss fights in this castle, um, outside of Magus, is Flea. Um, and it starts because generally one or more of your characters is probably going to end up with their MP busted. Um, so I'll show you here that Flea has a very good um, magical defense, but... Um, 
So this is actually going to um, cause the chaos status ailment on her, which I am going to cure with a heal potion. Um, because I am not going to... Um, I'm not going to deal with that. That, to me, is just pathetic. <laughs> um, I hate flea sometimes. Um, ugh, he, she, it is really stupid. Um, Alright, we're just going to keep fire sorting. And you're going to keep uh, leap slashing. Okay. Well... Actually, screw you. Yeah, that's doing it a little better. A storm wind of poison. So this is actually going to poison everyone, unless it misses. Well, it's not going to poison everyone, but okay. So Chrono is going to take a heal. Okay, and then again, I'm just going to red pin because it's dealing a lot of damage to Flea right now, and so that's just what I'm going to do. Um, this is an attack that Flea does that allows he, she, it to... Um, um, that allows he, she, it to um, attack and... Um, so basically, she has one of the party members attack all of the other party members. And it deals a lot of damage because it's your character. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use heal. And I'm probably going to do it one more time. Eh, fire to her in the meantime. He, she, it in the meantime. <clears throat> heal. It, it's good to take a couple of turns and just kind of heal everybody up. Um, just to kind of get their HP back up. Um, I didn't need that. Dad, burn it. I was thinking the wrong thing. I wanted a mid ether. My bad. Again, fail. Alright, so I'm gonna spire. Oh, you little punk! Oh! That's it. Now I'm gonna red pin you to the floor. This is what I mean by I hate it when you do that. <laughs> hate it when they do that. It's like, grah! How can this be, Sir Magus? And we get a magic tab for our troubles. That is not worth it. Ugh, okay. I'm going to fight these guys again. Um, just because I am going to... Um, uh... Just because I want some more of those mid ethers, um, and because this is like one of the only places to get them in Magus's castle, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill all these guys again and get three more mid ethers, because um, it it helps um, to get through with those, especially when we get closer to Magus. Um, so. Excuse me. So you really don't have to worry about the sorcerer too much, um, unless you're like severely under leveled for this place, um, where you're not doing as much damage. But I mean, honestly, unless you come directly here from 65 million BC and you know, kind of say, "Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna go tackle Magus right now," um, you shouldn't be. If you go through and do, um, um, yeah, if you, if you just go through the, the motions of getting all of the second level spells, you'll be overleveled for this place, like, severely overleveled for this place, um, 
and I mean, you'll still gain, I mean, as you go through and you fight all these different things, um, you know, you'll, you'll find out what they are, so, I mean, they're, yeah, they're extremely easy. So, all right, well, so we got a few mid ethers. I might do a little bit more grinding for some mid ethers in the future um, before we go. So now you'll notice that this um, this thing is back, um, and if you go through it, you go to the next part of Magus's castle. So can we take down Magus um, and find out uh, if he's the one that's going to um, create Lavos? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is Russ, signing off.